It's hormone free! Hi, I'm Tina from Students for Life and this is your Pro-Life Gen News for Monday, February 20th. Let's get started. So, it took a nuclear physicist to create a fertility app that will replace medication with technology. Alina Berglund is a nuclear physicist who will be known as the woman who developed the first natural cycle fertility app that is internationally certified to be as effective as contraception. The app, called Natural Cycles, was created as a way to go beyond contraception and get to know your body and unique cycles. Now, women can add this to their natural living regimen. Antibiotic-free milk? Check. Hormone-free chicken? Check. Hormone-free fertility? Check. Updated abortion stats are out from the Guttmacher Institute, and guess what they found? You won't guess it. You will! The number of abortions fell by approximately 5% between 2011 and 2014. So this has actually been a fairly steady, consistent decline since 1980. But I'm expecting that with the power of the pro-life generation and all the great resources and organizations added to the pro-life movement since 2014, we will see an even dramatic decline in the next few years. Might I be so bold as to say, we're gonna abolish abortion in our lifetime? Oops, I guess I already did. In light of Black History Month, I thought this would be a good time to share about a wonderful woman that I had the honor of getting to know before her passing in 2010. Dr. Mildred Jefferson was the first black woman to graduate from Harvard Medical School. She became the first female surgeon at Boston Medical and was considered a trailblazer in her field. She was also the co-founder for National Right to Life. In a 2003 article for the American Feminist, Dr. Jefferson wrote, and I quote, I am at once a physician, a citizen, and a woman, and I'm not willing to stand aside and allow this concept of expendable human life to turn this great land of ours into just another exclusive reservation where only the perfect, the privileged, and the planned have the right to live. Dr. Jefferson faced many obstacles in her field as a woman, and especially as a black woman. When she found herself in her own place of privilege and success, she never wavered that the right to life was an equal right for all, no matter race, ability, or economic station. The pro-life generation wouldn't be here without heroes like Dr. Jefferson. So that's everything that caught our eye today. I am Tina with Students for Life. I hope that you check in with us again tomorrow, and no more hormones!